We teased you on this going to uh, the end of the weather before 77 is our forecasted high for Monday. But again, things go up, they come down, all good things must come to an end. Now it's not going to be a sharp decline like this. This is going to be over the course of the week and most of the week is going to be in the upper echelons of temperatures. But by the time we get to next Friday, a week from tonight, we will be back in those upper 50s. So a 20 degree temperature drop from Monday to Friday coming up. Let's take a look at our current satellite right now. And I, I mean, this is just incredible here, folks, to see the entire eastern half of the country, not just rain free, but cloud free. This is not something you see very often. There's our storm spinning offshore. That's very pretty to look at, especially now that it's for the fishes and not with us. But take a look at this. Let's draw an arrow here and to go from, uh, you know, the most next closest clouds if you want to take the uh, <clears throat> sort of clearest diameter I guess you could say if we use a little bit uh, geometry here of clouds across the southwest you have to go that far to get to them and then we draw that line all the way up towards Maine and heading into Nova Scotia I mean you're talking about a 2,000 plus mile stretch of clear skies so everybody on the eastern seaboard and uh, eastern half of the country is going to be dealing with sunshine this weekend. Not often do you see that. No matter where you're traveling to, you're getting the same exact forecast. Of course, temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer south of us, but they're warming up for us too. Tomorrow, we're back into the upper 60s to close to 70. I think a few spots across the area will get to 70. So on the seasonable side, uh, excuse me, on the warmer side of seasonable, but then things start to turn a little unseasonably warm. As we head into Sunday, we're into the 70s. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we look to remain there as well as this high is just not going anywhere. And as you can see, the sunny skies are not going anywhere either. We look ahead towards next week. What's the reason for that cool down? It's a cold front coming through. And even if this didn't bring us any rain, it was going to cool down the temperatures regardless, but it is looking likely like we will see some showers at this point. Not a lot of rain. I would say at very early forecast maybe a quarter of an inch at most. And that's certainly not going to help our drought situation, which is starting to increase, especially right along the 95 corridor. Jersey, Philly, Atlantic City, they're getting into that moderate drought stage as are parts of uh, the Bay State, Boston, up towards New Hampshire, and even getting into coastal Maine, you're seeing that moderate drought now and a good swath of the rest of New England in the abnormally dry category. You can consider that a minor drought. So I think things are going to get a little bit worse before they hopefully get better. And again, not a lot of rain coming in next week, but a temperature drop nonetheless. 39 degrees tonight, clear skies out there. Winds are going to be lightening up as we head towards tomorrow morning. So I do think it's going to be very chilly. We may see some frost out there one more time before the warm-up commences. Spectacular sunshine tomorrow, upper 60s to around 70 degrees. There you see Attleboro getting to 70 tomorrow. And then uh, our, our, our upcoming week, I mean, guys, here it is. The only question now is, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to go pumpkin picking? You're going to go bike riding? You're going to go to the beach, perhaps? It's certainly going to be weather for it. I think we're calling out sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. John, sorry. can you cover you me on Monday? That? Jeff can write excuses. He's got a little pad back there. He can. <laughs> Dr. Jeff writes excuses for people on days like that.